this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a logo very similar to this one. If you do get stuck, make sure to go back and check out sections one to three of the Basics of Photoshop course, as I do take you through all the techniques that we will be using today. So I'm going to show you how to create this logo right from the start. Let's go up to File, and then New. And I'm going to make my canvas size six inches by six inches. And you can actually work in any measurement that you would like. So for example, if you want to work in pixels, that is also another option. And down at the resolution, I'm going to stick with 300 pixels per inch and RGB color mode. When I'm done, hit create. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to add some artwork to this. Go up to file and place embedded. And I'm going to use the element that we created in project one, this floral arrangement. So I'm going to select the PNG. You can of course use any image that you like and then place. Okay, now this is quite big. So holding down the shift key and using our directional arrows, pull the corners in and you'll see it change in size. So maybe a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm going to add it to the middle of my canvas and then using the cheat arrows, going to rotate it anti-clockwise. When I'm done, I can either double click on this or hit this tick at the top. Okay, next, I'm just going to add some text underneath this. I'm going to go across to my text tool. And at the top, I'm going to adjust the settings. So in this one here, I can choose the font. I'm going to choose a font called Georgia. And this is just a very standard font. And you can, of course, use any fonts that you have installed on your computer. I am going to make my font regular and I'm going to make it 35 points. Next, I'm going to choose a color and I'm going to go down to my swatches and down at the bottom, I'm going to select my moss green color, then hit OK. I also want to make sure that my text is aligned in the center. So now I have all my settings and these can be adjusted later on. So going over to my canvas, I'm now going to click underneath my floral image. When you're done, hit tick at the top. And I'm just going to move this down using my move tool. Next, I'm going to draw a line underneath this text. First of all, I want to create a new layer. So go over to your layers panel and down at the bottom, create new layer. Now I'm going to select my pen tool. You can hit P on your keyboard for short. And I just want a small line from about here to here. So I'm going to click once on my canvas, then hold down the shift key and click again. Okay, now at the moment, there's no actual colored line shown up. So go up to your options at the top and down at the bottom, I'm going to select this emerald color. And I also want to do the exact same thing for the stroke. And now you can see that the color has now changed. I also want the line to be a little thicker. So I'm going to change this to two points and hit enter when you're done. Okay, so now we have a line and to move that, go up to your move tool again and you can center that. Okay, next I want just a little more text underneath this. And I'm going to again use my text tool for this. So go over to your tool panel. And this time I want different settings. So I'm going to go up to my text options. And this time I'm going to use another standard font, Courier New. And I'm just going to have it as regular. And I want the font size to be 17. Next, I'm going to choose the color. And I would like the teal color. So over my swatches, again, you can just hit the color that you'd like. Hit OK. And that's my text selected. Now I'm just going to find a center point in the middle and type. When you're done, hit this tick at the top. Now we can use our move tool to move around our elements. So if you want to move a different piece, make sure to go to your layers panel and select it. Alternatively, you can use the other method of selecting command or control and then click 
and you can see it has now selected your layer in the layers panel. So you can move and adjust these elements to how you like. Okay, now we're done. So first of all, what's very important to do is save this as a PSD file. And a PSD file is basically a Photoshop file. So that means every time you open it, it will appear just as it does here with all your layers and you can go in and adjust anything. So go up to File, Save As, and here I'm going to title it Logo. And I'm going to go down to make sure it's Photoshop, and you can see here it's PSD. Make sure Layers is selected, and then hit Save. Then hit OK. And your logo will be saved as a PSD. However, PSD files can only be opened in Photoshop. So if you're using your logo for your website or a social media post or something like that, we want it in a different format. So perhaps you want to save it out just as you see here with the white background, then I suggest saving it out as a JPEG. So file, save as, in the format section here, go down to JPEG and then hit save. Now this will not replace your PSD file, it's just simply saving it in a different format beside it. So hit save. You can choose your quality. Now the larger quality it is, the larger the file. You can preview your file size here. So depending on what you're using it for, if it's perhaps for a website, you don't want the file size to be too big. So then you can bring the quality down a little bit. So I'm going to leave mine here for the moment and then hit OK. Now, perhaps you want to use this logo and have different colored backgrounds or put it onto a business card design or something like that. Then we're going to save it out now as a PNG file. So first of all, to do that, I want to crop my image so that I don't have a large square around this. So I'm going to go across to my crop tool and it's over in the tool panel. Hit C for short. And you can see that it will have these outlines around it. So you can simply pull these down and this will be cropping your canvas. So move it to as close as you can to around the image and the text. Then when you're done, hit the tick. Next, I want to make my background layer disappear. So I'm just going to hide that. Now I'm going to save it out as a PNG file. So go up to File, Save As, and go down to PNG. Hit Save, and just leave your settings just as mine, and then hit OK. So now you can go ahead and use your logo on any document that you'd like. So say, for example, you're creating a letter. So I'm just going to quickly create one now. Select my move tool. Go up to file, place embedded, and then select your logo PNG and then place. And here your logo has appeared very nicely into the center of your canvas. If you want to resize it, then just hold your shift key and you can bring it down or you can also make it larger as well. So you can go ahead and then place your logo anywhere you like. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and you can get some inspiration for your own logo design. Go ahead and be creative. Use your own text, your own fonts, your own images, play with the color, play with the layout. 